Hi, um, this is question 6 from the AQA Mechanics 1 June 2013 exam paper. Um, in this question we've got a scene from an action movie and um, okay. um, a car is driven off the edge of a cliff and lands on the deck of a boat in the sea, as shown here. To land on the boat the car must move 20 metres horizontally We've got 20 meters horizontally. Um, <coughs> from the cliff, the level of the deck of the boat is eight meters below the top of the cliff. So we've got a distance of eight meters here. Bit thick. Okay, um, and we're going to assume that the car is a particle which is traveling horizontally when it leaves the top of the cliff so it's traveling horizontally when it leaves the top of the cliff so it's kind of going in that direction there um, and that the car is not affected by air resistance as it moves now for part a we need to find the time that it takes for the car to reach the deck of the boat so um, in order to solve part a um, we're going to just look at things um, in the vertical direction Okay, so just things in, in what we're going to call the y direction here. Now, um, initially, the speed is just horizontal. So its um, initial vertical speed is going to be zero. So over here, I've just set up our super equations here, and I'm going to put zero meters per second here. Okay, so that's its initial vertical speed. Okay. Um, and um, the only force acting on it will be its, its weight, so it's going to be acting as a projectile. Um, so its acceleration is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second per second. Um, and in order to get to the deck of the boat, it needs to travel 8 meters um, vertically. So its displacement at the end of it is going to be minus 8 meters. Now we're going to take that to be the positive direction, up to be pos the positive direction. And um, what we want to know is we want to know the time that it takes, first of all, um, for it to reach the deck of the boat. So um, I'm going to write down an equation that links um, S, U, A and T together, and that's going to be S um, is equal to U, T, plus a half a t squared okay and we'll just sub in these with subscripting it with a y to show that it's going in the y direction okay um now i can plug in the values that i know here i know that the displacement is going to be eight or negative eight and that's going to be equal to u is zero so this bit here is going to be zero plus a half of a which is minus 4.9 t squared uh, that tells me that t squared is going to be equal to 8 over 4.9 um, so t is going to be equal to root 8 4.9 um, which gives me uh, 1.28 seconds. Okay, um, so that's part A, and that's to three significant figures. Now, for part B, um, it says we want to find. Okay, for part B, we want to find the speed at which the car is traveling when it leaves the top of the cliff so um, we know that it travels 20 meters and we know that it takes 1.28 seconds to get there and we also know that um, because it's acting as a projectile um, its horizontal speed is going to stay constant um, so that means that I can just say that speed its horizontal speed is going to be equal to um, distance over time and this is because there's no force acting horizontally so it's got to be going at constant speed okay and because its horizontal speed is equal to distance over time 
um, we know the distance is 20 meters and we know the time is 1.28 um, so I can say that my speed is going to be equal to um, the distance which is 20 divided by the time which is 1.28 and I'm actually going to use root 8 over 4.9 here okay just to get me a, a more accurate um, answer for my speed and that tells me that my speed is going to be equal to um, 15.652 um, etc um, and that's going to be equal to uh, we'll call it 15.73 significant figures that's meters per second okay now um, for part C I'm just going to box this off over here <coughs> okay for part B we want, we, we want to find the speed of the car when it hits the deck of the boat so um, as it comes down to the deck of the boat um, we want to know what speed um, it's traveling at so there's, it's going to be made, made up of its horizontal component and its vertical component. So the horizontal component of the speed um, is going to be 15.7 meters per second because it's going to stay at a constant speed all the way along. Um, so what we need to do is we need to work out what its vertical um, component is going to be. So. Um, I need to come up with a formula that links these things together. Now I know what time is now because time is going to be 1.28 seconds or 8 over 4.9 square root of 8 over 4.9. Um, so I'm going to say that I'm going to use v is equal to u plus a t. Okay. Now um, I know that u is zero, um, and and I know that a is minus nine point eight. So I can say, that. and again for my time, I'm going to use um, root eight over four point nine. Okay, so that's going to tell me that the vertical component of my velocity is going to be. Um, minus 12.522 okay um, so I know that the vertical component is that and I'm just going to write down underneath the horizontal component um, is going to be this here 15.652 okay and I want to use more accurate numbers so that I reduce my error um, I'll give my final answer to three significant figures. Now um, I'm trying to work out the speed um, and this is telling me that I'm going 15.652 in that direction um, and 12.522 in that direction and my speed V um, is going to be in this direction here. Okay so that's going to be Uh, 15.652 that's 12.522 um, and we want to work out what the speed is here so we're going to use Pythagoras um, so I can say that v squared is going to be equal to 15.652 squared plus 12.522 to two squared um, and um, using Pythagoras to work out what V is I get um, 20 point and to three significant figures it's going to be 20.0 meters per second okay and the thing to be careful about here was that we were asked for the speed so we need to make sure that we do this extra step, this extra step and work out what the speed is Okay, um, I hope that was clear. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.